Hey everybody, I'm excited to be here today. First of all, uh, happy Chinese New Year, Shen Yei Hao. I am uh, wearing a, my Chinese New Year uh, shirt. This is wife approved, my wife is Chinese. Uh, of course, it is still an Under Armour shirt, so I know maybe it shouldn't really qualify, but it is a Chinese New Year shirt. And I'm here today to talk about a whopping seven Kickstarters. So many Kickstarters right now, I actually had to make a list so I wouldn't leave any out. I mean, it's crazy. And there's a lot more on there that I'm not even going to talk about because when I looked at them, either, you know, to me, the, the, the price wasn't right for what you get or I didn't really like the sculpts for my style or whatever it is, not to knock any of them that aren't on the list, but I picked all the ones that, you know, that impressed me. So seven of them. And I'm going to start off very briefly uh, with my own Kickstarter. So if you like the channel, you watch the channel, I help you. Maybe there's a good time to come support the channel, support me by backing this Kickstarter. It is a uh, uh, take on uh, Journey to the West, which is an ancient Chinese fable about Wu Kang uh, helping the monk uh, Tang Senzang uh, retrieve Buddhist scriptures to bring back to China to spread Buddhism. Anyway, it's got great figures sculpted by the amazing twin goddess with a guest sculpt by Cobra Mode, terrain by Gamescape 3D, and by Nikki's Hatchery. Uh, just all around great stuff and a D&D 5e adventure with stat blocks for level 5 and level 10. I actually don't want to dwell on my own Kickstarter much, but please go support it. I want to talk about these other Kickstarters. Oh, and for the record, uh, I'm not being paid by any of these other people. I'm not getting compensated for mentioning them or doing anything like that. These are Kickstarters that I like. Uh, full disclosure though, I am doing, um, let me just look real quick. I am doing the supports uh, just on one of them actually. Uh, so that's my only tie and even the one I'm doing the supports on whether you're back or not I don't get any money. So it, you know, it, it, it like doesn't really matter to me. So In no particular order Let's go through the other six kickstars aside from mine that I think you, you should either back Or you should be taking a hard look at because there's either really good stuff and it's all out of value Otherwise, I wouldn't recommend it. So it's it's I, These are just things I think if you're 3d printing you like miniatures like me you want to look at these First one we're going to talk about actually uh, isn't actually a Kickstarter. I, that, that's a misnomer. It's on my mini factory, which is now launching its own crowdfunding platform to match Kickstarter, but just for miniatures. They're not you know, doing other stuff. And I actually might make another video on should people in our 3D printing industry be going with Kickstarter or my mini factory, but I get, that's a whole other topic. Um, and really, I don't have enough information yet to, to opine on it either way. But the one on my mini factory is called Fantastic Plants and Rocks Volume 2. Uh, hopefully most of you watching maybe have backed the first one. It had 3,500 backers. And it was a fantastic uh, scattered terrain of all these different fantastical plants and rocks, as the title might you know, make you think, um, by Print Your Monsters. It was really well done, really good stuff. Um, and it killed 3,500 plus backers, I think. And now they come out with Volume 2 which is just more, I won't say more of the same, more similar stuff, but all different plants and rocks. And it's, it's equally awesome as the first one. So that's over on my mini factory. I'll have a link to that. I definitely think it's worth checking out because the, the great thing about the fantastic plants and rocks, Kickstarter one, and now this Kickstarter two is no matter what game system you play, you can always use beautiful scattered terrain, right? So I just think it's, it's like a no brainer and it's also cheap. I, I think it's only, I should know this, but I think it's only between like $15 and $20 to back and you get 100 files or 200 files, whatever. It's, it's an extreme value. Um, let's talk, now let's move to actual ones that are on Kickstarter, or I should say were, because uh, let's talk about Dungeon Delvers. So Dungeon Delvers is a new, uh, it's by a new group called BAM. And they're really, they're an offshoot of Level 52, which if you look up Level 52 Studios, they are a high-end maker of statues and they have a lot of like really good commercial licenses. Um, and now they're making miniatures. So it, it's really a big legit company, you know, another good company coming into the miniature realm. So it's not just appearing out of nowhere. And uh, their miniature, I think the miniatures are awesome. I did the support for this Kickstarter. The Kickstarter actually ended two or three weeks ago. And I think they're opening up late pledges uh, next week as I make this video. It, it's uh, I think February 14th, Valentine's Day. So they are, they are opening up late pledges, I believe next week. So you definitely want to check out Dungeon Delvers. They have, 
I'm not trying to label the style. Like when I saw like these dwarves that I'm going to float around or I'll replace myself, whatever. Um, you can see the style on them. It's very like old World of Warcraft or if you played, like I played a game to death called Battle Chases Night War on, on my PS4. And this is very reminiscent of like WoW or, or Battle Chaser in terms of the style. So I don't know if this kind of style has a name. I'm going to dub it video game style because that's what it reminds me of. But anyway, I think the style is really unique, very stylized. Um, I know some people might not like that style, but I have a feeling more people will like it than not. I happen to personally love it. I think it's, I think it's awesome. So you want to check out Dungeon Delvers. Like, because I don't think late pledges are open yet, you might want to bookmark their page and, and just check back in a week. The other thing is I think they're starting a Patreon starting March 1st, if all goes well for them. So I believe they're starting March 1st, a Patreon. That's also going to be one to look out for because I think these, these guys are legit, are legit players. So Dungeon Delvers. Um, we've got Titan Forge through their, I'll say, slash Cyber Forge arm. Has a sci-fi uh, uh, skirmish game Kickstarter. So if anyone, and there should be a lot of people familiar with Bloodfields because I think they had 4,000 backers for that one. So this is the sci-fi version, I guess, of Blood Wars to some degree. It is a tabletop skirmish game. All the figures come with cards. They, they're, they're, you know, they're one up from where I was with Pit Fighter. They even have an app that works with the game. I mean, they're, they're you know, when Titan Forge does it, they do it right. And one thing you know you're going to get with them is really good sculpt, and you get an insane value. Like, it's less than a dollar per STL, plus you get a game. So you know me. I think anything under $2 per STL, I think, is very reasonable. Anything under a dollar per STL is, like, super-duper cheap, kind of, like, no-brainer. And, and that's what they're offering. So you want to check out uh, Titan Forge slash Cyber Forge. The official name is, I think, Grid Wars, actually. But, again, I'll have the links in the description, and I'll, I'll pin one in the comment for all these Kickstarters as well. So you definitely want to check that out. Um, there is, oh, there's a little one. This this actually perplexes me. There is, oh, and I should have disclosed this also. This, this creator made the nameplates for my Pit Fighter Kickstarter. So funny thing is, and I'm, I'm just totally honest with what happened. Like the guy contacted me to help him with his Kickstarter way back when. And he was making nameplates for uh, War Cry and Blood Bowl. And I honestly thought they were pretty cool. I wasn't sure how useful, but I did think they were kind of cool. And he said he would make them for Pit Fighter as an example. And I said, sure. And then he made them. And I actually fell in love with them. So I think I'll show some pictures from the one, you know, just a couple I did for Pit Fighter. They make a, a mini, especially if you're doing like a game, like Blood Bowl, War Cry, or my, my game Pit Fighter. It makes it look so pro, to, I think, to have the nameplate. And so I, I fell in love with these nameplates. In fact, so much that I, for the Wukong Kickstarter, which I mentioned, which is going on now, I have nameplates for that also from this guy because I think it just adds like this such a touch of class um, to the miniatures. And let me show pictures from the, um, just one or two from, from the Wukong Kickstarter. It just looks awesome. So he's, he's got a Kickstarter on now, which I'll link, which is for um, Blood, uh, War Cry or Blood Bowl, you know, team names and stuff. And it doesn't have many backers, and I guess it's very niche. But I think, honestly, these things are awesome. So, you know, just throwing it out there for people, like, go take a look and see if you feel the way I do, that these things are really cool. I guess it only applies if you if he's made what you want, though. So there is that. But anyway, I think they're cool and, and, and totally deserve a look. Uh, next, That Evil One, who, That Evil One, who was a great name, by the way. It's a username for a, for a sculptor. I think he's part of... Um, Cults 3D, their Patreon, uh, but he also has his own Kickstarter now called Lunar Auxilia, and it's it's pretty well funded already. And you should definitely check that if you like sci-fi stuff. I think it's I think, and I don't play it. I think it's more like a a, a Warhammer 40k proxy. So you might want if you're into the sci-fi or the Warhammer 40k, you might want to take a look at this at this Lunar Auxilia, um, and then the last one. Also very well funded right now, Terrain Tinker. Terrain Tinker, it's not by printable scenery, I don't think, but I think it's being done in conjunction with them or partnered with them, or I'm not sure what the what the tie-in is. But it's a computer program that lets you use uh, open lock uh, dungeon parts, I guess, and all the stuff that printable scenery has made, because I guess all their stuff is, is open lock compatible. And it's a computer program that lets you design your dungeon and then you know exactly what to print out. Not only that, I think from designing it, you can actually print stuff out. I haven't actually tested it out yet, 
So I'm not 100% well versed, but that's from looking at the at the Kickstarter. That's what I got. So I think you can even merge tiles and print them instead of printing one at a time. So definitely, if you're if you're a DM like I am and you design your dungeons, also if you've backed printable scenery stuff, which I have, you know, uh, backed uh, I, like I loved Goblin Grotto. I thought that was awesome. Um, and and they just had the Shadow Fay. Which, which had some very cool stuff as well. So anyway, if you're into all that stuff, you're into the scenery, you're into designing your own dungeons, you might want to go take a look at this terrain tinker and see if it's for you. It may be, it may not be, I don't know. You know, so I just, you know, went over and I hope I did it quickly enough. Uh, but seven, well, six Kickstarters and one MMF, My Mini Factory crowdfunded project. So these seven, like definitely go take a look. And, and you know, I think, any one of these, if they're right for you, they're all going to be a good value for what you get. And, and these all have, well, Terrain Tinker doesn't have models, but all the other ones have really nice looking models too. And we see with this flood of Kickstarters and Patreons and everything, I think what's starting to shake out, to me at least, as, as someone who's not just making YouTube videos, but a hobbyist, there is, you're starting to notice, at least I am, a difference in quality between sculpts. And, and so when I come and recommend Kickstarters to you, I'm going to recommend things that honestly, in my opinion, have really good sculpts because everything's kind of cheap now. So, you know, now if everything's going to be really cheap, then you want to get the best art you can get. So, or, or something unique or, you know, or like, like the way Hexton Hills was. Um, so you want to, uh, take a look at these hopefully. And if you only have $25 to your name, Back to Wukong Kickstarter, of course, that's mine. But uh, no, but seriously, like take a look at all these and hopefully you guys enjoy them. Hopefully I turn you on to something that you find neat, useful, cool, whatever that you can share with your group. I mean, for me, it's all about, you know, I play D&D, so if it's all about getting that stuff on the D&D table, having it look awesome and, you know, and just having fun. So that's it for this video. As you can see here, I have a build plate because the next video I'm going to make, which hopefully I'll make in the next day or two, is going to be on leveling the build plate. I've never made a video on it. I know hundreds, hundreds. There are a lot of videos out there on leveling the build plate. I'm going to give you my take on not just to instruct you how, but on, on paper versus leveling in the vat and, and all kinds of other little things like that. That won't be a long video either, but that, that's what's going to be next because it's long overdue that I make that video. Anyway, that's it. Thanks for sticking with me. Again, check the... A description for all these Kickstarters and I will uh, I know some people say they can't see the description sometimes so I will pin it in the first comment as well and that's it thanks and uh, happy 3d printing everyone